Welcome into the video. I'm your tech guide Wayne. Today I want to go over uh, what to do if your Pixel Fold is stuck in a boot loop. Uh, if your screen looks like this and you're getting that uh, message that says Pixel is starting, um, it means that your Pixel Fold is stuck in a boot loop. Uh, the last three days have been extremely frustrating. My phone's been stuck in this boot loop for three days. And finally today I was able to get on the phone with uh, someone from Google support and they were able to walk me through how to troubleshoot this properly. So I wanna show you the methods that they showed me in terms of troubleshooting it. Um, I wanna show you what they recommended. Um, they kinda of have a process they wanna take you through to try to resolve the issue. Uh, unfortunately, um, I, I had to go all the way to the last method, which is uh, the actual factory reset. So I lost all the data on my phone which extremely sucks, but um, thankfully I was able to get out of the boot loop and now my Pixel Fold is working properly again. As you can see on the screen here, everything is working fine. So um, I'm glad it's working. It sucks that I lost all my information. Um, so I will show you the troubleshooting steps they recommended and then if those don't work, I'll then show you how to trigger the factory reset. Let's get to the phone here. So the first thing is you'll need to hold down on the power and the volume down button. And um, so just note there are two different things you need to be aware of. So holding on power and volume up are gonna restart the phone. Holding power and volume down are also gonna restart the phone, but they're gonna take you to the, what is called the fast boot mode. And that's where you have uh, more options to try to restart the phone and try to do other things to fix the phone. So um, the first thing we'll do is power and volume up. This is simply just to restart the phone. Now, if you hold those buttons for 15 to 30 seconds, you'll see your screen go off. Now, the first thing Google advised me to do was to do this reset seven times. So essentially I held power, I held the volume up, and I triggered a, a restart, or what is called a soft restart. Now, Google said that if you do that seven times in a row, the phone has an internal counter where after seven times, it should boot the phone into a different, it basically takes it to a different screen, and it, it's supposed to fix it. Now, I'll tell you, I tried this a few days ago, it didn't work, but I'm telling you this because if it works on yours, you might be able to save your data. I did it, it didn't work, and therefore I had to factory reset. So first, you're gonna do that seven times, power, volume up, and seven times, and after the seventh time, it should boot into a different uh, menu to fix the problem. So let's assume that you've done that and that didn't work. So this is the next thing you wanna do. So I'm gonna hold power, and volume down this time, okay? So power volume down, and I'm just gonna continue to hold the buttons until the phone restarts. And once the logo, uh, or once the screen goes dark, I'm gonna let go of the buttons and then I'm gonna hold them again until it takes me to what's called the fast boot mode, okay? So it should restart in the next couple of seconds here. We've already been holding it for about 15 seconds, so let's keep going. Disclaimer, um, you're gonna hear my kids screaming in the background. You might hear the AC going on and off. Um, you know, just let you know. Okay, here we go. So screen went off. I'm gonna let go of the buttons and then I'm gonna hold them again. Power volume down. I'm gonna hold them for a couple of seconds until I get to this screen. So this is called the fast boot mode. The first thing you wanna do, again, this is after you've exhausted all the resources um, and it's time to simply either reset your phone or your phone not work again. Uh, it's kind of the last resort. So what we're gonna do, use your volume buttons to toggle between these different menus here. So notice I hit the volume down, it says restart bootloader. I'm gonna press it again. I wanna get to recovery mode. Now once you get to this one, you're gonna first hit the power button and right after, watch this, so power button, it's gonna take you to this screen and it's Okay, so we hit power and now it says no command. Next, you're gonna hold power and volume up like this, boom. There we go. Okay, so I did that fast. Again, I, it was power and volume up. Press it at the same time, one time. It's gonna take you to this screen. 
And from here, you're gonna use the volume down button to go down. Keep going, keep going. You wanna to go to wipe data, factory reset. Okay, so from here, you're gonna simply hit the start button, or excuse me, you're gonna hit the power button, and that's going to trigger the factory reset, and that's gonna wipe the entire phone, and then it will set it up like a brand new phone. Now, disclaimer, I downloaded Android 14, and I believe that's the reason why my phone started to glitch. So, um, after I did the full reset, I went back and checked. It's still on Android 14, so I just gotta hope and pray it doesn't happen again. At least now I know what to do. I am not going to reset it again because mine is working properly. But for you guys, this is what this is exactly what you should see on your phone. Um, now, I'm gonna briefly while the phone is restarting, I'm gonna give you one more thing to to look for. So if when you went to the recovery mode, if it didn't show you that little picture of the Android and it didn't say um, no command, um, I think that's the last like step of troubleshooting you can do. And if that doesn't work, you then need to go to Google's website and you can look into potentially a um, getting your phone covered under the warranty. So I'll have a link in the description of that link. If you even tried what I just did and that didn't work, if that doesn't work, I think that's the last thing you can do. And that means that you have probably a hardware issue that your phone would have to be either uh, swapped out for or brought into a repair center. 